It will be recorded that some seven policemen were recently ambushed and killed by the terrorists while in the line of duty in Mongudan's Afe local government areas of Zamfara State. These are family members of the deceased, accompanied to government house Goso by the State Commissioner of Police, Muhammad Bulu area commanders and divisional police officers on the instruction of Governor Dodalawal, the governor who presented undisclosed financial assistance to each of the families, again extended the heartfelt sympathy of government and people of Zamfara State to them and the Nigeria police force over the side event. <laughs> The governor regretted what he described as the pathetic condition of the policemen and the country, emphasizing the urgent need to take decisive measures to reverse the ugly trend. The system is not being fair to you. In terms of your welfare, the system is not being fair to you. In terms of your training, the system is not being fair to you. And we know you have the capacity to protect lives of properties in this country. Governor Doda, who particularly observed that the policemen need better remuneration and condition of service, says his administration will soon unveil its welfare package scheme, including a life insurance for the police officers working in Zamfara State. The governor also promised to ensure a robust working relationship between the divisional police officers and the local government councils in the state for improved security architecture at the grassroots level. All the modalities, when I get there, I will invite you and I will unveil my plans for the police in order to have effective policing in Zamfara. And I hope by the time we do that, other states will copy. One of the family members of the Slain police officers thanked the governor for the concern and prayed Allah to rule him abundantly. <laughs> Meanwhile, Governor Doda Lowell has held a separate closed door meeting with the senior police officers and the monarchs on the prevailing security situation in Zamfara State, in Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim, NTA News.